the iPhone 16 Pro Max has some fantastic video camera capabilities. They've got the new 4K 120, which is nice. You know, it would be able to record stuff in ProRes, all those great things. But it's missing one thing that I think would really help take the experience to the next level, and that's pro level controls. So it's funny to me, you take a look at the iPhone. The iPhone doesn't have really a whole lot of controls over video unless you go into the settings and then you go into the camera app, which is kind of on the frustrating side because when you have an Android phone, particularly like the Pixel 9 Pro XL, or if it's like the uh, S24 Ultra, you've got pro mode, you've got all these different controls, all these features that you have right at your fingertips. And when you pull up video on the iPhone, basically you can like hit record or you can change the zoom or you can change the frames per second or the resolution. And that's about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot there. And it's one thing that I really wish they'd incorporate in there because I've been saying for the longest time, you know, I really think like the iPhone has the best video. And it's one reason why I record all my videos for my channel with them. Not to mention the fact that it's very convenient with AirDrop. It works perfect with the Apple, with the Mac computers. And then I can just edit it with Final Cut Pro, which one of the reasons I like Final Cut Pro is I don't have a monthly subscription cost. It's great. I just pay the one-time fee, which is, you know, like 300 bucks or whatever. But I've been using the same subscription license for like five years now. <laughs> so if you want to get into content creation, it sets the bar for entry really low. And it's something that's really, really nice that you can do with just your phone. And, you know, back when I started doing this, I think I started recording a video with like the iPhone 11 Pro or something like that. I started my, my very first, when I first started my channel, I was recording with the Samsung Galaxy S8 on my kitchen table with no, no microphone whatsoever. So, you know, I've come a little bit of a way since then. And uh, yeah, I prefer the iPhone for that stuff because it just makes it simple and easy and, my life is all about trying to keep things simple and easy. I mean, I've got a nice Panasonic Lumix uh, S5 camera uh, that I can use, but like the autofocus is not fast enough and you know, it has some other frustrating features. But yeah, I mean, I've tried the Pocket, Blackmagic Pocket Camera 6K Pro. That was really cool, you know, $3,000 camera or whatever. And I just gravitated back to the iPhone. So for everybody who uses the iPhone, I mean, it's probably the most mass proliferated camera out on the planet and then you've got the pro models it would be really nice if they had some sort of pro control suite to where you could do everything from the camera app without having to leave and go into the settings and it's not like oh let me just open camera settings there's no settings inside the camera you have to go to settings and you have to go to the camera and then you have to look at each thing individually you know turn on hevc or turn on uh, prores or adjust the features or you know even from the get-go when you start off, you can't even go to 4K60. You have to go into the camera settings and enable it to do 4K60 before you can even shoot 4K60 frames per second on the camera app, which is one of those things that's really annoying. So it's like, they give you all these crazy advanced features. And I mean, it's nice, you can record straight to storage. And if you want, you can get a USB-C SSD, external SSD and plug it in, record ProRes straight to that. I mean, that, that's really cool. And all these added features, you've seen these videos that they make where they're like, oh, we shot the whole thing on iPhone, but like those camera controls are not at your fingertips. It's not something that's you know, intuitive for a lot of people. And it's something where it's like just too many steps far removed. And that's one of those things that just frustrates me about Apple because so often it's like they want you to do everything their way and they won't set it up where it's easy to customize, easy to adjust things, easy to fix things. You gotta go through all these silly steps or, even with like the audio, it's frustrating to me that you have, you're stuck with basically the way they set the equalizer or with when it comes to the earbuds, uh, AirPods and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, there's so many different things that you just can't control or can't control easily in, in the iPhone. And <laughs> one thing I've actually been really happy about with the iPhone with iOS 18 is they finally made it when you start dialing a phone number in the phone dialer, that it starts to show the name for a contact you can just tap on. I've been waiting for that feature for basically since the dawn of time because it's so nice whenever you have an android phone like so you got an android phone you hop on there you start typing in a number and it's in your contacts bam just tap on it and you can call so you know that's one thing that's been kind of frustrating but i like the stuff that they do with the iphone when it comes to video i think the selfie is phenomenal uh, most of the time anyway they've gotten better with the color science stuff and then with the profiles and the hdr and all the different adjustments and stuff you can make now 
it makes it better than ever. So like my face right now doesn't look all red. I mean, there is some like red highlight in it, which I mean, is whatever. That's something that the iPhone is known for, but it's not as bad as it is in some instances or how it's been before where it's like your face looks orange and then red, <laughs> like undertone at the same time. So, you know, th they are making enhancement there over things I've been complaining about. Uh, I do wish that they would still fix the lens flare stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, it, there's still so many things that you can do with it. And then you're, you're hobbled by having the little green halo looking things at nighttime. So yeah, there's still some things they need to work on. Overall, I think the camera quality is really good. And that's one reason I wanted to record with this. I'm sitting in my Tesla. I'm here in front of the Super Target because I had to go run in to grab a couple of things. But I shot a video like this with my Pixel 9 Pro XL about a month ago. And I wanted to show it off. So this is 4K60. This is with the built-in microphone. I'm sitting in my car. I've got one door open. The air conditioner is barely on because, I mean, if I turn it up, it's going to... All you're going to hear is... <laughs> and that's going to be any phone. So, I mean, there's always limitations with that. But, yeah, sometimes I like to get out, do something a little bit different. And today, it felt like a good one. Like, I, I do like the camera, but there's still frustrations. And I really wish... You know, it's just interesting because it's a pro level phone they call it a pro phone it'd be nice if they throw some pro level controls and features in there i mean it's nice that we have the camera action button that's cool uh but you know it's still limited with what you can do on that as well i still wish they would have made it a fingerprint scanner that would have been really cool so missed opportunity there i hope that they incorporate that at some later date or even a scroller where you could scroll through like web pages or twitter or x or whatever you want to call it different things like that you know that's something that would be pretty cool as well uh, but you know, I don't want to go off on that tangent too much. I, I really wanted to try to keep the focus to this because it's like, yes, it's cool. You pull it up, you press the record button and you go. But I mean, any phone can do that. But at least the other phones, especially the ones that I use normally, like the S24 Ultra, the Pixel 9 Pro XL, uh, you've got pro level controls and features right inside the camera suite itself where you can choose those. And then on top of that, you can change the settings on the fly inside of the app. So yeah, maybe one day we'll get there with Apple. Maybe they'll listen. Maybe they'll start to give us some more controls and some for, some uh, you know more feedback to, to adjust things inside of when we're trying to do things uh, with our camera, especially with the video. I, I, there's a little bit more for the camera controls than there is for the video, but the video, it's like, all right, let me change the resolution and hit the record button. <laughs> like, there's not a whole lot there. So anyway, so far, enjoying it as far as the iPhone experience as much as I do enjoy them, which is, you know, it's not my ideal phone but it does have a lot of changes at least i'm recording i'm sitting here in my car and my 15 pro max would have started giving me heat warnings it would have started dimming the screen i mean it's getting very hot i mean the iphone 16 pro max right now i'm sitting i have it up on my steering wheel as i'm holding this and talking and the sun is definitely on it and i'm at eight minutes right now and it hasn't overheated none of that stuff the 15 pro max on mine would have overheated at like two and a half three minutes and started giving me warnings and giving me like changes to the video so there has been improvement there uh definitely the heat sink or whatever they did the i don't think it's exactly a vapor chamber but they did something and i think they increased the heat sink capacity and a few other things to where it dissipates heat a little bit better that does seem to be better oh screen just dimmed <laughs> eight and a half minutes so yeah it started to get real toasty and and yeah that is an improvement over last year but still it does seem to suffer from some of these problems anyway so that's all i got if you have any questions comments concerns gripes complaints let me know. Let me know what you think of the video quality. Let me know if you think of the audio quality because it does have the new pro level mics, which I'm particularly impressed with. So let me know what y'all think about all that stuff. And as always, if you enjoy the video, if you like this stuff, hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.